Thanks for tuning in to a video created by Jordan. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time watching, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell while you're there. And if you do like the video, be sure to crush the like button as well. Today, I want to talk about my experience as an employee. Let's dive Your right job. in. The word today is job. J-O-B. You hear me? Started my first job at 16 as a concession stand worker. Pumped to be there. Always showed up on time early, if anything. Clocked in as early as I possibly could. Um, would be always asking to to get extra hours volunteer for extra shifts stay late anything like that that i could do to stand out earn more money uh, ultimately be the best candidate for advancement when those opportunities would arise um, i made it clear to my upper management that i did want to advance given that i was only making 725 doing concessions and there were obviously other positions available not necessarily available but other positions within the company that certainly paid more and so i definitely knew i wanted to to grow outside of the 725 position that i was given uh, so I, like i said i tried to do everything i could to to make that a, an obvious decision for the company to make um, i was told as i was nearing the age of 18 which you were supposed to be 18 to do a lot of the other positions that the company possessed, um, that I would be given one of those employees, or excuse me, that I would be given one of those roles of advancement. Days leading up to my 18th birthday is when things started to look a little fishy from my perspective. The company actually had a job fair where they hired a bunch of random people off the street you know, which kudos to them for being able to provide people that were unemployed or needing more employment with an opportunity. However, I thought, you know, a move of integrity would be to potentially hold a position for a guy like myself who had been told he'd be given one and ultimately spread the opportunity within as well. However, my 18th birthday came. I asked for a, a conversation with upper management again and uh, went to find out if if that position was going to be available for me and I was told at that time all the positions had been filled. That left a pretty significant stain or bruise on my perspective on how I might be treated in the future with this company. So I didn't wait another day. I hit the job market job j-o-b started trying to find a you know another position somewhere that i would hopefully be paid better not only did i find a new job i found two new jobs and i secured both of them put in my two weeks notice at the original company i was working for and happily decided to move on uh, one of the jobs that i received was a commission only sales job doing uh, sales for a company called Vector Marketing, which is just a face company for uh, Cutco Knives. I sold Cutco Knives, did a really good job with sales, but it turned into a really pesty kind of a role. They have you work off of family and friends and try to grow new leads out of that. And I would experience, you know, friends and family not really even wanting to take my calls due to the sales nature that was going on, trying to sell knives that were more expensive than most people would ever consider spending for a product like that. The other job that I got was delivering pizza as an independent contractor. And I really enjoyed that job for a while. I did it for about two years or so. I would eventually quit the sales job, maintain the pizza delivery role for a while as I was enjoying the money and ease of workload that went into delivering pizza. There was no kitchen responsibilities required at all, no uniform, it was very laid back. Um, and I, like I said, I enjoyed that. In the midst of all of that, I did a program that allowed me to finish high school a little bit early. And as I was, I believe on my last day of high school, I was driving in, in the midst of 
paying a couple bills that I had taken on as a young adult being my car insurance and my cell phone bill. And looking at those bills, it really just dawned on me that these brands that I was paying at the time had power, had a, had a source of leverage with with their pricing and being able to charge people what they felt was reasonable or marketable or what they could get people to pay for the services, being car insurance and cell phone service. And it really struck me in a very, very powerful way that if I was able to do something like that, that I would have that same power and leverage over my income based on the work that I applied. So it, it really dawned on me that maybe I shouldn't get another job. Maybe I should create a brand that would allow me to leverage my own prices, be in control of how much money I was making. And I had a call come in to interrupt me and it's raining in now, as you can see. So that's exactly what I did. I jumped in head first and with the idea of creating my own business, I did eventually throughout time, carry a few other jobs as I got my business going and once I really felt my own strength and my own confidence to to continue moving with business, uh, I never really looked back. And I, you know, I'm in my vision and many other successful entrepreneur today with the business that I have going now and a few others that I'm working on. And you know, I look forward to sharing the rest of that stuff with you guys. Stick around, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to be notified when my other videos drop. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you leave a like and maybe share it to some of your friends. Thanks, guys.